guys, I finished my treatment and ate breakfast and all the normal stuff I do every morning. Except this morning wasn't quite a normal morning. Um, I had a very exciting morning. Let's put it in that way. Um, <laughs> so I had put Yachty outside um, for my treatment and I was about to swap him out for Panda because I was going to take Panda out. And in case you guys don't know, uh, those are my dogs and Yachty and Panda don't get along. So we put them outside at separate times. So I was about to put Panda out and I heard this dog barking, so I went to go look outside to make sure that there wasn't a dog running loose. Um, because, you know, I don't want Panda outside if a dog's running around loose. And I didn't think anything of it, because just a second ago there was a dog barking at the uh, UPS guy. So I thought, well, you know, maybe the UPS guy came back or something, I don't know. Um, so, I look outside. And I see two sheriff cars over at the neighbors. And I'm starting to get a little freaked out because I'm like, uh, okay. And then the one sheriff guy, they're like at, over there for a while. And then the one sheriff leaves and goes down the street and I don't see him again. The other sheriff starts going down the street and going door to door. They didn't come to our door, but going to our neighbor's house, and then that neighbor's house, and then the house down there. Then he parks, turns around, and leaves. So, that was my morning. I don't know. Yeah. That was, I was like, okay. <laughs> um, what's going on over here? Uh, <clears throat> the dog was barking at the cop, obviously, but, um, so, yeah, I had four sheriffs patrolling my neighborhood this morning, so there's that. So, yeah, I was planning to take Panda for a walk down the street. I think we're just going to stay in the yard today. <laughs> I was thinking, like, well, maybe we'll go for a run, um, on the road, mix things up. That's not happening. We're gonna stay in the yard until I go to the horses later. Um, so, yeah. I can tell you one thing. I, I, I don't know. When I was looking out the window, I was expecting to see, like, um, you know, a mail truck or UPS or FedEx. I was not expecting to see two sheriffs walking around with these big cars. So, yeah. All is okay now, I think. They're gone. Everything's good, but <sighs> you never know what a day is going to bring you. So I hope you can hear me over the hurricane. Um, <laughs> it's super windy today, <clears throat> but um, it is also 75 degrees, which is why I'm wearing short sleeves. So I'm going to try and go for a run again today. Um, I. I know that I do better in warmer weather. I've just seen that from my record to my previous runs. Um, so I'm going to go for a run and uh, enjoy the beautiful weather. But I'm going to do it in the yard. <laughs> but um, yeah, so. <coughs> yeah, so I finished my run and I only did a half mile as is the story of my life lately. <laughs> Um, but I got to say that the past week and a half, I've really been <clears throat> kind of discouraged after running. Just kind of like, why can't I get more? You know, my best is a mile and a half. Why can't I get back up there? And today I decided to just embrace, kind of try and change my thinking a little bit. And that's not to say that it's not still a little bit discouraging, but try to, um, try to change it from why can't I get back there to what can I do about where I'm stuck now so I um I decided to embrace the half mile and instead of trying to push farther than a half mile because right now obviously for whatever reason my body doesn't want that um I'm gonna do what's called fart licks which is like the weirdest word in word in the world but you can look it up it's a real thing um and uh basically you sprint and then slow down sprint and then slow down 
and usually you like sprint and then slow down to a jog but for me i'm sprinting walking sprinting walking etc um and the sprinting equals a half mile and then the walking i pause my counter so i'm only running i know only running distance um so i did that today and even though um you know i didn't improve my stamina which is what i'm kind of rooting for here i did get my fastest speed ever i went um almost eight miles an hour which probably sounds pathetic, but <laughs> for me, that's really good. Um, my previous record was six miles an hour. So instead of, for the next week, I think, instead of trying to frustratingly improve my stamina, I'm going to work on the fart licks and um, just embrace the half mile. If that's what I'm stuck at right now, then I'm just going to embrace it and uh, do something a little bit different. And it'll be kind of fun to change it up a little bit because I've been working purely on distance since I started back in December. So, um, I think it'd be good to, I think I'm going to take like a week, um, like the rest of this week and like the beginning of next week and work on the fart licks and then, uh, go from there and then see how I am. But, uh, yeah, so I think it'd be fun to change it up and it'll also give me something to kind of push towards, um, and a new goal to kind of go towards. So I'm not ending every run really upset <laughs> that I didn't get my distance. And instead, just pushing on speed and working on speed. So that is what I'm going to do. And uh, for now, I'm going to go and uh, rest for about 20 minutes before I head to the barn. And I'm just soaking up this weather today. It is amazing. Um, so that is my new running plan. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> So I just got to the barn and it's also like a freaking tornado out here. Um, I don't know why, but it seems like every time we have a really warm day, it also gets really windy. So the horses are back there. I'm facing this direction, so hopefully you can hear me somewhat because I'm downwind. Um, <clears throat> they're just eating hay and chilling and uh, <clears throat> I'll probably grab the halter and do some work with them and just enjoy this beautiful afternoon because it is amazing out here. Um, so yeah, unfortunately they're in the hay pile that has, um, the mud surrounding it instead of the one over here, but I'll make it work. <laughs> I'm not sure how much I'm going to be vlogging out here because the wind is so high and I know that when the wind's high, the audio quality is horrible. So Probably won't be doing a whole lot of vlogging out here because you wouldn't be able to hear me half the time anyway. Sun, the sun, the sun came out. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen the sun in like, I don't even know how many days. So yay, the sun came out. The horses are all taking advantage of it too. They're dozing. I've kind of given up on grooming them because at this point I groomed them like an hour later. It looks like I never did. So I've kind of given up on that, but um, they're enjoying it. And I'm enjoying it. I'm like, oh, the sun came out and I was like, yes, finally. I don't know how long it'll stay around because the sky is still pretty cloudy, but I'm going to enjoy this little glimmer of sunlight. Guys, so I just had to point out, like, I know I've already said this, but just like what a beautiful day it is. And the fact that spring is in the air. So blue skies, sunshine, and then there's this whole bunch of uh, green grass everywhere. <clears throat> that is just amazing. There's more of it like back there. So the green grass, the brown grass is slowly starting to turn green and it's slowly starting to um, feel and look like spring again instead of winter. I don't know about you, but I know that summer is my favorite season, but spring is a pretty close second because it's just like the throes of winter are over and you're finally warm and you know, everything comes back to life and it's just pretty again. So, yeah. I'm super happy for this little glimpse of spring. We're supposed to get cold again tomorrow, but it's a little glimpse and I'll take it. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. I just came back from the barn and it was just such a beautiful day. Um, I might go sit on the porch for a bit uh, just to enjoy it a little bit. But um, overall, it was a interesting morning and a good afternoon. So, um... Thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.